But for a time, it looked like we might have another nuclear incident on our hands. The result is, Mr. President, I'm really not up to date on Southeast Asia. I can't tell you anything. What is the story behind uh, the... Uh, well, what, what was your evaluation yesterday? I want to ask you to go in the office, and I looked at you, and you thought, I thought you said, I'm tired, you better go home to your no, wife. No, we had, no, we, well, no. Well, it started that breakfast, but I just didn't... No, I'm sorry. I would love to, Clement. Well, I... I, I uh... I think it shows two things, Mr. President. Uh, first, that they have more power than some credit them with. I don't think it's a it's a last gasp uh, action. I do think that uh, it represents a, a maximum effort in the sense of they poured on all of their assets. And and my guess is that we will inflict uh, very heavy losses on them, both in terms of personnel and materiel. And this will will set them back some. But that after they absorb the losses. They will remain a substantial force. I don't uh, anticipate that, that uh, we'll hit them so hard that they'll be knocked out for for an extended period or forced to to drop way back in level of effort against us. I do think that uh, it is such a well-coordinated, such an obviously uh, uh, advanced planned operation that it probably relates to, to negotiations in some way. I would expect that were they successful here, they'd then move forward to more forcefully on the negotiation front, and that thinking that they have a stronger position from which to bargain. Uh, I don't believe they're going to be successful. I think that uh, in case on where we're going to have the real military engagement, I believe we'll, we'll deal them a, a heavy defeat. I think in the other areas, it's, it's largely a propaganda effort and a publicity effort, and I think they'll gain that way. I mentioned our people across the country this morning will we'll feel that... Uh, but uh, they're much stronger than they had previously anticipated they were. And in that sense, I think they gain. Uh, the question in my mind is how to respond to this. Is there anything we should be doing we're not doing? Uh, I've talked to the chiefs about some kind of a reciprocal action, uh, uh, retaliation for their attack on our embassy or in retaliation for their attack across the country. There just isn't anything they've come up with that is worth a damn. They talk about a, an area bombing... Uh, attack uh, over Hanoi. The weather is terrible. You can't get in there with with uh, pinpoint targeting. The only way you could bomb it at all at the present time is area bombing. I wouldn't recommend that to you under any circumstances. They just haven't been able to think of retaliation that means anything. My own feeling is that we ought to, to uh, depend upon our ability to inflict very heavy casualties on them as our proper response and as, as the message we give to our people.